Welcome Trekkies and Trekkers to my tiny show, Stitch Trek, where I talk about Star Trek costumes, where to buy them, how to make them. But today, I bring to you a problem. Star Trek bathing suits. Yes, I ordered three and I was so excited to get them because I have a hot tub and thought, oh, what joy, I can use these right away and then review them later. And I put one on and instantly was disappointed. Yeah, these came from AliExpress. If you're for some bizarre reason interested, I will put the links below. A while back, can't remember who was making them. Someone was making really good Star Trek bathing suits, but they're very hard to find right now. So I thought these might be a good replacement. And at the price, why not give it a whirl? Yeah, I, I feel like I'm usually pretty darn easy to please. And the fact that I'm so down on these is actually really bumming me out. Like, it takes so little to charm me. And these offered so, so little. It's stretchy. It's pretty hard to get wrong, right? So many times as women, and I'm sure men, you'll get a bathing suit and be like, this will never fit. And then you put it on and it just, it just stretches. That's what's supposed to happen. You're like, oh, this is perfect. That's a bathing suit. That's a bathing suit. And they managed to bungle that. This is going to be a little awkward because I don't want the YouTube gods to smack an age rating on this video uh, by me showing too much. And because these are very poorly cut, they do show a lot. So to mitigate this problem of showing too much, I'm going to have to wear a unitard underneath. That's the only way I can figure that this will be like okay for the family to watch. I'm also gonna wear a bra because I don't wanna like show too much. It's cold down here, you know what I mean? Just so everyone can enjoy this and um, heed my warning, I suppose, as to why you maybe shouldn't run out and buy these. Or do, or do. If you're brave, if you're like, I don't care, do it. So I'm going to don my unitard and try on my first bathing suit to show you what I mean. Oh, um, one more thing. So these are purchased from AliExpress and usually when you buy things from AliExpress, oh, oh, the dryer's done. Okay, cool. <laughs> usually when you purchase things from AliExpress, you kind of figure that they're made for mostly an Asian market. So the sizes are smaller. So I wore a small, I would order a medium, sometimes even an a large because a small is very small over there and a large is more our medium and so forth. So I wasn't quite sure what I was going to get. I have some other bathing suits, but because they're so stretchy uh, that I ordered as a medium and they fit fine, perfectly, but it's all about stretch. Um, yeah, no, I ordered one small and two of these are mediums and you'll see. So here we go. This ain't it. This ain't it. Nope. So many things are wrong right here. What's that? What's that? This is a medium? Like, what is that? You know? I'm a small. This is a medium. It shouldn't be that big of a difference. You're like, oh, maybe that's for people with a bigger chest. Well, then why is this so tight? <laughs> why is this so tight? If this is a medium and this is not stretchy, this seam right here does not give. What is that? The shape, I like how it's shaped. Like I like the idea. I think the back is cool. You zip it up, that's a zipper. It's a little hard to get on by yourself. But that, that, <sighs> no, no. I love the idea. I love that it's low 
over decks. I love the design on it. But the quality of the fabric is so cheap. It doesn't stretch. This is bad. Oh, and it, when it does, it's one of these. It's one of these that turns white. Come on. Come on. What happened? Oh, and the bottoms. Shall we? Lowering our expectations. I don't think there's supposed to be more on the side. I think, I think they're supposed to be like, you know, normal height, but this is just so loose and terrible. I hate it. And it's one of these, like not quite a thong cut, but it's just like bad. And what is, what is this? What is this ruchy, terrible, cheap? This should be way thicker. It should be flat. It shouldn't look like a diaper. No, no. I, I just am um, saddened because it could have been so cool, right? This could have been so cool, but instead we get this like kind of a disaster. That's what it is. Um, if, if just the quality of the fabric were better and I'd pay more. I pay more. Ten dollars is, is for good quality bathing suit. Ten dollars is ridiculously cheap. I would gladly pay more if this were just better. And I really like. I really like how they mock necked this. It's oh, it's breaking my heart. <laughs> I want so badly to like things. I really do. But this just it doesn't it doesn't hit enough marks. If you're brave and you want to wear this very thin fabric in public, go for it. The Searcher Cruise is an adult cruise. I've seen people wear very, very, very little and it's fine. Like nobody freaking cares. We're all adults and we're rational. Um, but if you're not comfortable with that, this maybe isn't the thing. There's no lining in this. And you know what though? Here's what I might do. If I bought, if I bought this, this, I think it was one of the $9 ones with the intention of wearing it out. Um, I would definitely fix this. I would just bring it in at the side seams, make it fit a little better. Uh, who knows, if I'm feeling super modest, I might put some pasties underneath. I don't know if they stand up in water, whatever. Um, but I would probably replace these with a normal, better fitting pair of black bottoms. Cause this black would still go with that black. It would still look like an appropriate uniform. So like, I can't even, I'm gonna take this off. <laughs> I can't even get over how nothing, how nothing there is to this. But look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, what is that? What is, what is that? Why, 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 why? <laughs> I have gotten things from AliExpress that were cheap and were great. Not one of them. Holy smokes. Wow. That's a lot of zipper. This is also a medium. Uh, again, ordering them because it's supposed to be spandex. It's supposed to be very stretchy. You know? <laughs> It's not. Why? Why is all of this... Why? It doesn't matter how I change my posture, there's just so many wrinkles because this... It's like they cut it for somebody with a very, very long torso. And that's just not how you cut a bathing suit. The stretch is supposed to accommodate for people with different length torsos, but they must have known that this didn't stretch well, so they just made them extra long so it would fit more people, but then it doesn't fit small people. This is just not flattering at all. And can you see how saggy that is? That is just so saggy. It's 
so bad. There's no, it doesn't hug anything. <sighs> you know? Like that shouldn't, it shouldn't be like this. There's just nothing, nothing, nothing modest about this. This is just gapping open. I despise this. Let's try on an actual small. For a second. I'm gonna lean back because I don't want to pull the camera up again. Um, I really want to like this, especially this one. I like the design. I really like the print on the side. Um, everything else is wrong. Everything else is wrong. I hate that it, the fabric whitens out across the bust because as it stretches it gets white. Like that thing I was just showing you, white. It's not see-through, that's just, it turns white because it's printed on. I have other bathing suits that are printed on and they're fine. I don't know what the difference is. This is just so thin, it's so cheap. Um, this is quite tight. This is a small, this is quite tight and it doesn't stretch and uh, it's, it's making me feel a little claustrophobic actually. Like I'm not quite strangling, but it's not, it's not a great feeling. If I got an extra small, I'm sure this would be too much, but still it doesn't fit lengthwise. Like it was made for somebody with a much longer torso. And I don't know why it's so, why it's ruching up the way it is and why the crotch is still so baggy. Again, I like the way the back is cut. I like how that comes in like that. Um, it's another very long zipper. I just don't know why this is so wrinkled up. There is nothing back here. Like what? Why is it just open? <sighs> in conclusion, the one pieces, um, I'm going to bring in the crotch a little bit, like cinch it up <laughs> so it's not so baggy, but would I wear this in public? No, 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 because it's not stretchy. It's still not going to hug your derriere curves well enough for them to, um, frankly, keep you decent in public with any reliability. So these will be for home use only, um, which is fine. And for the price, I'm not going to bother sending them back. <laughs> these, um, no way in hell. So I guess out of this, this adventure, the one thing that I discovered is that with modification to the uh, rib belt area. This is the only thing that's kind of okay. And it will only be okay after I modify it. Uh, and I'd have to wear some black bottoms to go with the black up here um, to make it reliably modest. Um, but even then it's terribly thin. So I think I'd have to put a liner along the chest area. And that's going to be a little weird because lining something that's not stretchy with something stretchy is strange, but I guess I'll just have to figure it out. I do like this sort of, <laughs> I think I will. I think I will like this is really what I'm getting at. Um, enough. I think I like it enough. Next time I go on the cruise, you might see this, but the rest of them, no, <laughs> I feel bad. I feel bad. Somebody had a great idea. They put effort into designing these, which they're cute. They're cute when they're not on you. Uh, and it just crashed and burned in the actual execution of the creation. 
If only they were stretchier. That's that's just it. They were just stretchier. So anyway, it, like I said, if you are interested, the links will be below. You can try these out. If you have a long torso, hey, maybe they're for you. Otherwise, I don't recommend. I do not. <laughs> Sorry. Oh well. Anyway, thank you so much for visiting my little show here. If you enjoy this, like and subscribe and perhaps share. What are your thoughts really on these? Do you own one of these? Do you wear it? What do you think? I cannot be the only one who purchased these. Um, yeah, but until next time, live long and prosper everybody. Kapla and the sump pump everybody making its stitch trick debut <laughs>